Charlie from Daily Motor. Today we've got the sound system demo of the 2022 Infiniti Q60 and its 13 speaker Bose Performance Series audio system. This is going to be an in-depth review. We're going to take a look how the infotainment system works, take a look at audio adjustments, inputs, controls, speaker locations, then we're going to head out on the road to listen to these sample tracks while we're rolling and I'll give you my thoughts at the end. Now if you don't care about any of that stuff at the beginning and you just want to hear the music, click ahead in the video. We've got chapters to get you right to the tunes. And if you're tired of hearing the same songs week in and week out, sign up to become a Daily Motor member. We did a members only sound test of this system, listen to our member requested tracks, it sounds excellent. So if you want to check that out, check the link in the description to sign up, to sign, uh, be a member over at Daily Motor. Before we get started, let's hop out and take a look at it. This is, like I said, the Bose Performance Series on the Infiniti Q60. This is the Q60 Red Sport all-wheel drive, meaning we've got 400 horsepower, twin turbocharged V6 in there, and some beautiful looks, some fun new grayish blue paint, which seems to be the color of choice for press cars here in 2022. So if you do want to see more on the Q60, check the links in the description. We've got all sorts of good videos. Now we always do these tests with lossless, uncompressed wave files on a USB stick plugged directly into the system, and high quality Roland bineural microphones in both of my ears, giving you the most realistic audio system demo on YouTube. I highly recommend listening with headphones so you can hear exactly what I'm hearing. We also do the test with the sound settings set to their factory default, so let's take a look at those now. Still rocking the very Infinity Classic two screen setup, higher one with a lower uh, resolution and a very different appearance than this. Sorry, the upper one with a very different resolution and appearance than this lower one. Let's go, actually, instead of right here, there is this little gear icon where you can get bass, treble, balance, and fader. But if you want all your audio adjustments, you gotta go to the home menu, swipe over, settings, then up here to sound. So you've got bass, treble, balance, and fader, Bose Audio Pilot, Bose Center Point, and, whoops, at the bottom, a surround stage and a driver's audio stage. So let's start with bass and treble. Audio Pilot is going to adjust the music and the volume level and kind of the different frequencies. So as you get going louder, it's going to actually listen to, keep going louder, you're going faster. It's going to listen to externalities, the road noise, wind noise, engine noise, etc. balance the music out. I like to test with that off because I don't want it affecting any of the original recording's intention. Then you have Bose Center Point, and that creates a little bit more of a 3D effect. It kind of places the music up in front, more focus on the center speaker. So even if it's a stereo song, you get sort of an in front of you experience. We're gonna talk about that on and off in the music once, uh, in a, man, I cannot speak tonight. It's what happens when you film on a Sunday. You get uh, more of an experience that way. So I'm gonna talk about on and off once the music gets started. You have an adjustment for the surround volume, so kind of how dramatic that center point aspect is. And then a driver's audio stage, which really places the music right in front of the driver. And if you're listening with headphones, you should be able to kind of experience that. So let's take a listen. On a track with more heavy dynamics, like a song like this, you don't notice the effects. No, stay on. Just just don't change anything. Just, are you gonna turn off? Don't do it. If the car turns off, I'm gonna be a little cross. <laughs> Everything just going crazy with this one. A song with a lot of dynamics like this, you're not noticing the effect of the center point as much, but I'll actually uh, switch to the softer track in a minute, and oh, let's just do it right now. You can kind of hear the more dramatic effects of the center point. So here's it on. Sounds like the music's coming right there. Let's turn it off. Even that's not very 
very dramatic. I think I noticed a bigger difference when I was listening with Apple CarPlay and Amazon Music yesterday. But anyway, that's it for adjustments. It would be nice to have some sort of mid-range adjustment, but not so here in the Q60. Audio control. So you have a nice volume knob here in the middle. It's a little shallow, but it's in good proximity for both the driver and passenger. Then you've got adjustments on the left side of the wheel. For track selection, you've got physical controls here. You can use the touch screen if you're on the proper menu, or you can use these buttons right here, right by the volume controls on the left side of the wheel. For audio inputs in the Q60, you have quite a few. You have standard AM, FM, Sirius XM, satellite radio, USB-A and USB-C ports right in there, along with a 3.5 millimeter auxiliary input jack, Bluetooth, Apple CarPlay and Android Auto support, but only Apple CarPlay is wireless. So Android Auto is wired only. What does that mean you're missing? Not really anything because you even have a CD player. Not too many cars still with a CD player in here, but really, if you want all different sorts of audio, inputs and you listen to a lot of different types, especially high fidelity music, you're going to want an Infiniti Q60 because still getting that disc player. Speaker locations. As I said, this is a 13 speaker system. A few sneaky ones in here in this little coupe. Starting in the bottom left, you've got door for one, mid-range two, tweeter three, up front four, five, six, other side seven, eight, nine. And the back is a little tricky. I'll show you. We've got 10 and 11 up here in the deck lid. Those are pretty straightforward, but your 12 and your 13 are actually hiding. They're invisible speakers down in there. They're kind of a, like a mid-rangey sort of thing. It's kind of cool. You don't, don't really notice them, but uh, I guess they work. All right. Well, that's it for the static stuff. So I'm going to get this, these things put away so we can listen to this music out on the road.
I like it. I like the power. I like the mixing. There's a little bit of sloppiness that I'm not a big fan of. And I, the, the main reason I'm, I'm okay with it is I really haven't noticed it in most of the type of music that I've listened to in this car. But just the fact that I've listened to this song probably over 600 times at this point, in my life, maybe getting up close to a thousand. I've just, there's little tiny bits I notice. Eh, I could be a little tighter. But overall, I'm pretty darn happy with the mixing, especially for this type of vehicle. Speaking of mixing for this next song, we're going to turn the bass all the way up and see how it sounds. listening to a lot of different kinds of music, softer music, louder music, music with Alyssa, on my own, center point on, off. It's been a very versatile system and powerful and well balanced. It, nothing's really blowing me away to be like, wow, this is a revolutionary system, but it's a much better mark on Bose and the Nissan brand as a whole compared to many of the recent Bose and Nissan systems that we've tested recently. So yes, this is an Infinity. It should be much better than your standard run-of-the-mill Nissan. I get that. But either way, same parent company. And it's getting an A. I'm happy with it. I really am. I would happily live with this system. I think it's a really impressive offering. And I think anyone in this class would be happy to have it as well. I love getting all those various inputs. Yes, the system's a little dated, but it provides you everything you need. So get over it. Thank you all so much for watching. If you do want to see more on the Infinity Q60, check the links in the description. And also check out our members-only sound test if you'd like to see more. And we'll see you on the next one. I'm Charlie from Daily Motor, and as always, drive on.